Hi, and today I'm going to show you some useful shortcuts that you can use with uh, Microsoft Excel. Um, usually we use Excel with uh, our mouse, of course, but by using the keyboard, you can actually um, perform shortcuts without you um, 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 perform tasks much faster uh, instead of uh, clicking here and dragging here and there. So uh, by using shortcuts, you will, uh, it will allow you to save time and perform your task much faster. Uh, in the beginning, you might need a bit of time to get used to um, the shortcuts uh, as you use it. Uh, but with, with a little practice and as time goes on and when you remember the shortcuts, you'll get the hang of it in no time. Okay. So today I would like to share some of the most uh, useful shortcuts uh, in Microsoft Excel. Okay, the first one is uh, say you want to I have highlighted this cell over here, and say that you want to select the entire column. So um, you might have your fingers moving on the keyboard like this, you know. So if you want to select the entire column, uh, what you need to do is you press Control and Space Bar. Okay. As you can see, the entire column is selected. Okay, so let's do it again. Control space bar. Okay. Okay, how about um, selecting rows? Okay. Um, say that I want to select the fifth row. So what you need to do is press um, shift instead of control. Okay, and press space bar. Okay, so to select the entire row, uh, press shift. And spacebar, right? And the next shortcut that I want to share with you is um, um, the how to move to the beginning of the worksheet. Okay, so say that you are working with a worksheet and you've gone down perhaps um, to one thousand rows or you know, two hundred rows, and if you want to go back to the beginning of the worksheet instead of scrolling up with your mouse, you can press. Control and hold, right? So you see, uh, it moves down. Let me do it again. So let's move it down to say now we are in 300 something, row number 348, and we want to go back to the beginning of the worksheet. So just press Control Home. See, we come back to the top of the worksheet, right? The next shortcut that I want to show you is how you can move. To the end of the worksheet, usually is the end of the data somewhere here. So to, to do that, uh, you need to press Control and N. Okay, then we move to the end of the worksheet. Okay, in this in this case, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Control Control N. See, the it has moved to the last cell. Okay, the next shortcut that I want to show you is how you can paste a function uh, into a formula and to do so, uh, just need to type um, shift F3, okay? So you can search for a function over here, okay? So instead of uh, clicking this one, you can just press shift 3, F3, I'm sorry, okay? The next shortcut is when you want to select everything, when you're not editing or editing a formula, you can just press Ctrl A. Okay, instead of selecting everything like this, you know, you can just press Ctrl A and it selects everything for you. Okay. Um, the next shortcut, a very useful one, is how to access the go to box. Okay, this one is very easy. Just press F5 and you can go to. Okay, just press. F5 to access the go to box. Right. Another one I think that will be very useful is how is to enter the current date uh, into a specific cell. Okay, let's choose this one. And to enter the current date, you need to press Ctrl and semicolon. Okay, so you can see it's 28th of May today. And let's do it again. Control semicolon. As you can see, the date is changes. And 
what about time? Okay, let's say we want to enter time. Let's do it in this cell over here. Uh, to enter time, just press Control and colon. Right? So it's 4.41 p.m. Right? So you press Control and colon. Alright. It's very easy. Okay. Um, the next shortcut is um, how you can edit or enter a color a comment in a particular cell. Okay. Uh, instead of right click and instead of comment like this, you know, right click instead of comment, you can do so by clicking F, uh, Shift, and then F2. Right? See? See now you have a comment inside. Right? Inside this this particular cell right here. See? If you right click, you can see here there is already a comment. So, uh, in order for you to insert a comment, press Shift and F2. Okay? Okay. Here's another, here's another useful one. Okay, to copy the content from the cell, uh, say, to the right, say I want to copy 406 to this cell over here. Okay, instead of uh, going here and pre pressing Control C and then coming over and Control V, you know, uh, you can do it in a quick, uh, much faster way by just uh, going to this cell and press Control R. You see? Did you get it? Right. So in order for you to copy this number over here to the cell on the right, just go to the cell that is on the right side and press Control R. Okay. If you want to copy to the cell directly below, same thing. Uh, say I want this cell over here to be 406, which is the cell above. So instead of uh, going here and copy and paste like this, okay, I'm going to undo, okay, you can just go, you can just um, go right here to the cell below and press. Um, control D, okay, or down, right? I think um, these uh, several shortcuts are very very useful uh, when you use uh, with Microsoft Excel. So um, do practice them, and I think you will be able to perform uh, your task much faster in Microsoft Excel. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.